Hey guys, welcome back to some more FTL. I'm gonna actually give uh, Blot Blotch some healing. They have the best names. So it's like, it's like Kent, Mike Latt, Jay, Catlos, and Blotch. The adventures of <laughs> the greatest, the greatest uh, crew of the USS Railfuck that the universe has ever seen. So I have a bit of money, so I was actually considering to get more defensive options because I'm actually now in Sector 3 and having another bar of shields would actually be really beneficial to me. So uh, that's how I'm going to start off this, uh, this, is, this video. So now they have to basically fire two projectiles to f get through my shields. Uh, so we receive a distress call from an NG ship and apparently they need help. So that's a fucking mantis ship again. Uh, now this is the unfortunate part is they have two shields. I'm going to use my breach bomb and you'll see how that works. So I'm actually going to, I'm targeting his, uh, oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, everyone get back. Luckily, they are, this is not what I consider to be a valuable subsystem. Like, it's just, I, I can, I can run away. Like, just like that. And, oh, they took out my cameras. And luckily they missed me, so I'm, I'm all good. I'm gonna go put power into engines so I can dodge better. And but I took out I did a breach on their on their weapon systems. Like there was a breach that you saw momentarily, and uh, and now they're damaged a, a, a substantial bit. I'm actually gonna put power back into engines because uh, we need it for dodging. Okay, they decided to fuck off. So let's go equalize pressure and get everyone back on their stations. And this is, this is, in my opinion, this is like the best way to fight them. And I'm actually taking off this, just so I can, uh, uh cause like, look, look at this, I, I'm fucking, they're, they're heavily wounded, they're crippled. They're, they're completely crippled, there's no point in me, uh, wasting any more missiles, I figure. I'm gonna save them. So it's, it's a nice little weapon that, that you forgo shields and you can just kind of do whatever you want. And now they have like absolutely no... No shields whatsoever, which is good. It's gonna make this easier for me when my railgun kicks in. And that's it. They're screwed. So I've been talking a lot during this entire playthrough. I've been trying to uh, explain and justify all my actions here, just so people know. Ooh, let's see. Oh, so he he he. They hailed me and said, "Gratitude. Expected probability of defeat without assistance: eighty-six point two percent. Request uh, request suitable reward. So I could request whatever I want, and I could say." Uh, my NG crew member can convince him to give me more more things. Uh, they gave me a pike beam, repairing hull, and attaching ship to ship's or ordnance. Nice. So, so my hull came back from that. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna just keep saying nice. All right. Uh, so I I got really good there. Uh, so they're going to sell me some things here. I can actually I think scrap recovery arm stack, but I don't think I'm gonna actually do that. Uh, so no pike beam. This is a tough choice. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I said I was gonna sell the Pegasus missile. So, uh, damage per shot. Frick, I don't know. I really don't know. I I like the sound of this because this is two missiles for the price of one, and this is just like, oh, uh, because this technically does four damage. This technically does three, but this requires one more power. And this one does hull breach. I'm gonna keep the breach bomb. Someone's out there is gonna hate me for doing that, but yeah. Okay. Uh, so here I'm going to buy as much fuel as I can because I, when you have under ten, you kind of want more. I'm gonna repair my ship. And now I'm going to go and do a ship upgrade to my weapon systems. And now I can have the ion and the burst laser. I have two weapon systems, and now this is especially nice because now uh, they can they can now fire together, and also I can have if one of the systems gets gets taken out, I, I continue to have my breach. And so the way they work is if if my weapon systems get hurt a little bit, they disable from right to left. So you know you strategically coordinate your your stuff accordingly. Yeah, <laughs> that was a tongue twister. So I'm gonna go over here because we will be going to that quest uh, area in a moment. NG ship requires assistance. <laughs> another another comment message from the ship. 
Foolish beach, beach sacks, he calls me. And then he's moving into attack. So, uh, now we get our first little look at drones. And so this is, um... I hope that's not a glaive beam, because that would fucking piss me off. I, it's some sort of beam. I hope it's a pike beam or something. It can't penetrate this many shields, I think. I don't really know. Uh, so they actually have two drone uh, subsystems. So they will shoot... These ones in particular will, I think, shoot down missiles. I might be wrong on that. I'm gonna put it back in this order, actually. Actually, look at this. Look, look how they shift around. It's kind of cool. Okay, I'm gonna get that guy to help out. I'm gonna get this guy on that. So, uh, whoops. No, I don't have enough power. So let's go look at target shi weapon shields and weapons. And I have two of my crew members attacking the same one. And this engine can now come off of that. Okay, good. That wasn't a, that that wasn't good enough. They can't do anything to me. So as you see, as you can see, I'm still employing stall tactics to essentially. You see that I, I'm constantly removing one block of shields with my heavy ion, which is really nice. And then my railgun comes in and just fucks them up. And double shields means uh, I have a lot more defensive capabilities. Man, all at once, just the beginning, being this this video, it's just like I got like all the fucking all the fucking railguns. I don't know. Okay, and their ship explodes, they gave me a bunch of things, and we're good to go. No hull damage. That's that's a nice sign. Uh, let's get, get everyone healed up, actually. I'm going to be doing, actually, uh, how much will that cost? 15, 30, yeah, it's cost too much. Okay, I want to go into evade next, because uh, I, I'm telling you, evade is highly underrated. Or, yeah, underrated, yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I, 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 I much prefer it. Also, something cool that you should note about this game if you ever decide to play it. You could drag you could drag box select. Um, I haven't been doing that because I haven't felt the need to, but just saying you can. I didn't know that until much later. Um, but yeah. Okay, so let's see here. So there's a there's a, a unmade uh, scout floating near this location. We're going to download these data stores and we can pull information about the entire sector here. So I can tell whatever is uh, going to have enemies and whatever is not going to have enemies, uh, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, you would like it's it's actually really quite convenient to have this information because then you know what you're jumping into, especially if it's a hazardous area. Uh, the small post is being bombarded by an on okay, this must be the federation, federation base you were talking about. All right, we're gonna use breach bombs, even though that technically the breach bombs will not help in this case. He doesn't have any substantial weapons here, actually, so I don't even know why I'm concerned. Uh, the, the ion cannon looks kind of threatening, but luckily we have a lot of dodge. Why don't you dodge? I missed that, unfortunately. Guess we'll just fire ions constantly. Yeah, it's as soon as as soon as my shields go down, I'll, I'll be kind of screwed. I'm kind of worried at this moment. My shields are the only thing protecting me at the moment. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Actually, I don't even need I, I don't need this. I can go back to heavy ion. I'm very fortunate that my shields all went back up just now, and now now they have no weapons at all. Phew. So, didn't take any damage there, luckily, cuz ions don't actually hurt me. All the ions. And now he has no weapons, so we're pretty much good to go. And the USS Railfuck wins again. Oh, nice. Ah, oh. <laughs> so uh, basically, I went back, went to the outpost, and they said our location has been compromised. Take everything, and they gave me a burst laser Mark II. This is uh, another. Basically the same laser as I have here. I think there is a Mark III, but having two of the same ones, that's actually quite convenient. Like the, just this. That this is this is a volley of six lasers that fire at the exact same time. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's uh, that's better than actually a Mark III technically. Um, it's just that it takes up more slots. So it's something I will definitely be keeping. Uh, rest assured. Okay, let's go over here uh, to the store. So NGs will are just selling the stuff, so I'm gonna buy this. I can buy an Ion Blast too, which will has a really uh, high rate of fire. However, 
Um, I don't actually think I should use it. Despite that, it fires like, well, it's a heavy ion. So this, this one does like one shot, two ion damage, uh, but every 13 seconds. This one does, requires three energy, but it's one shot, one damage every four seconds. So technically this is three damage for every that for every what two damage this, this one does. That's kind of how that works. Um, it'd be nice to have, uh, but I don't think the 80, 80 is worth it. Yeah, it's not what my specialize in. As I said, I'm I'm more about bringing their shields down. Uh, I'm now fucking can't even decide. I have breach missiles though. That'd be kind of nice to have. Look at damage per shot four. This one does only three. Having more missiles would be kind of nice. This is for a final boss kind of shit though. Uh, okay, fine. I'll take it push me to this. Okay. So I get three more slots and then I have uh, an ion blast two and then two burst laser things, which is actually, that's pretty fucking powerful. Uh, that's, I can beat the game with that, uh, with the railgun and all that stuff. So there's a number of uh, NG space stations nearby. Uh, and that's it. That, that was just like nothing happened. And that even told me nothing was going to happen. Because, uh, like, there's no ship there. But this one, I, I jumped specifically into a ship. Because I like jumping into ships. Uh, actually, we'll just fire them both. So, uh, there's two drones attacking me. This one's an anti-ship drone. He's fire constantly firing shit at me. Um, this, one's an anti this one's a beam drone. He's doing beams, but he can't penetrate my shields. This guy's fi getting one shield every once in a while. Actually, it even tells you right here. Um, so I can target his drone system if I really want to, but he also has some really intimidating weapons. He's got uh, missiles and two lasers, which can bring down- he's not going to bring down my shield on his own. So I'm, I'm going to go look at his weapon systems. Look at that. Bam! There you go. You got nothing. You got nothing on me, son. Unfortunately, he's taking out my shield systems and my oxygen now. And I'm unfortunately missing every goddamn shot. Oh, and I'm taking out his shields? Really? No, I meant to take out his weapons. <sighs> this is not a good situation. Go for weapons. Oh, wait, I have another NG. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> Mike Ladd over here. In the words of Canned. He's fucking watching this, probably. I'm gonna accept your surrender just because I don't want to fight you anymore. Unfortunately, I can't damage him, but he can damage me. Fucking asshole. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was my own stupidity there. I uh, I wasn't paying attention, and I got another NG. I also was firing at the wrong place. It probably would have helped if I had fired at the right place, like I usually strategize. Strategize, yes. It's a word starting today. Oh my glad's gonna go over here. I like you know what I love. I love the, when the bugs are on things. Like, just, just kind of just look at him, like, fucking working that control panel. He's like, what the fuck am I doing? Okay, so, um... Yeah, we're gonna jump to here. And hopefully I can get to that distress beacon. If I can't, then I'm just gonna skip it. And this this one has nothing here. A number of ships passing through, uh, buying the efficient technology of the... Okay, I can go to distress beacon. Uh, so... Small NG ship under attack by Rebel Freighter. Oh, they're attacking me because I have Rebel markings. My filthy Rebel. Luckily this guy doesn't have as many drones. He probably just has like a repair drone or anti-personnel drone or something. Something dumb like that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, that's why I have these guys like in separate areas like here. I don't know why I didn't do enough damage to him right there. Come on. I hate missiles. I hate missiles so much. They're fucking cheap as hell. Like, there's nothing I can do against that. He's, like, evading it. It gets really dumb later on like this. Luckily, the USS Railfuck is no match. It's a, a complete match for this. Sorry, not no match. So, I got some uh, scrap because uh, I pick up the ship, and then... The NG ship turns out to be poorly equipped, so I can either... I can give them a fuck ton of things, and they'll give me probably a weapon or something, so let's do that. NG medbot dispersal. Not quite what I wanted. <laughs> but whatever. 
Uh, I was hoping for a weapon pre-igniter, which I'll explain what that does in a minute. So I, I gave them a bunch of stuff and they gave me that. What this thing essentially does is uh, they'll heal me at a reduced speed outside the med bay as long as the med bay is powered. So, so everyone is actually getting heals right now, just by having me having my med bay powered. Is this something I will keep? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, not really useful for me. I, I put people into the med base. That's it. They heal faster when they're in here, anyways. It it can be useful. I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. I don't have it powered most of the time. It's not. It's kind of pointless for me. But we're gonna leave. I was hoping for, as I said, the weapon pre-igniter would have. Uh, I can jump to the next scepter now. Oh, I can sell missiles for scrap. I will not do that because I need them. And we'll go to. Slug Control Nebula, let's do that. That sounds fun. Oh, it's a nebula, fuck. Whatever. Well, that's kind of interesting uh, to, to look at nonetheless. So they're a telepathic species, uh, which is kind of interesting. And so they, 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 go, they often in, uh, inhabit nebulas and things like that. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, okay, let's go hop to the store first to go repair my wounds and things like that. Uh, well, here we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and sell this NG bot dispersal, because fuck it. I kind of want that drone control, but I cannot buy it. So, let's go around. Now, here's the thing about nebulas. If you jump into a nebula area, remember how... Um... Okay, so it's, this guy's a rogue, I suspect. Oh, he has a glaive beam. Fuck. That's definitely a glade beam. That's a really powerful weapon. Very, very powerful weapon. Takes a very long time to charge though, so hopefully in this burst I'm basically going to take it offline. I did not take it offline. I might be fucked. Oh boy. This could have hurt. Yes! Yes! There we go. That does like four damage, and each each block of shields reduces by two. He would have a beam with two damage per thing. But I am very fortunate in the fact that uh, I took down his, uh, his thing. Let's target this cockpit. Um, so what was I going to go on about? Oh yes, um, so this is not like your typical nebula. Um, this is not like the the one where it slows down the fleet that's running after you. Um, apparently what they do in these in, in these nebulas is... Uh, I'll let them live. Okay, I'll take your fuel. Sure. They kind of screw you, this, the, these people. Um... They are not slowed down by this place. They are not slowed down by this place. Um, they just aren't. Oh, uh, crap. Plasma Storm, and there's a rebel thing. He lost two of his shields because he's affected by this as well, which is fortunate enough for me. Um, we will go put one point to that, and a point to that. There you go. So now I have a bit of a vade. Where are they attacking me? They are attacking my camera systems. Um, I'm gonna opt to actually go over here. Vent all the atmosphere out. Now they will have to fight me on my tips. Why are they even taking out my camera? We're in a fucking nebula. What a bunch of turds. Alright. Well. Have fun with this. Uh, did I? I did not actually target anything with my weapon systems. Oh, great. The bait is up. Did not dodge, unfortunately. Okay, they ran off, so... Uh, I, I don't have any weapon... I don't have any power in my, uh... My oxygen, but I'm hoping I will not need it. And they're gonna run away like little pussies. But luckily for me, I can target their engine systems. And hopefully, I will not need the oxygen. Actually, they're not even attacking me, what am I doing? There you go. And now they're gonna about to jump because uh, I didn't hit them enough. That's what happens when you make when you allow them to jump. That was unfortunate for me, but that's okay. They will be jumping faster here. It happens. And I st I still can't go to the store for what I want, but not like that matters because I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, repair myself instead and buy fuel. 
So I'm not gonna quite get what I wanted. I wanted I wanted the drone control thing for the final boss, but that's okay. I can wait. Oh no, they took out my med bay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is this is a problem because they're going to be uh, they're fucking slugs. Who cares? Oh wait, I can power up my this thing. Okay. That's what we'll do. Fortunately I can't heal my crew members for the duration of this. Which could be a problem, if you look at it in a certain point of view. And but I took out their their shit here and I'm just gonna go finish them off with an NG here. Uh oh. What the hell are these guys even doing? Fortunately, this guy's gonna die if I keep him here. I don't know quite what to do. It's kind of just keeping it rolling. Okay, get back on weapons. Hopefully, I'll be okay uh, as soon as the railgun comes online. There you go. Fortunately, they took out my cameras, which fucking- de they're useless to me right now. Why? Oh, crap. They have their own- they have the glaive beam. Uh, after this volley, I'm gonna go put on the breach. Because remember, it's all about the stall tactics for your railgun. And they also have a cloak, apparently. Fuck. Could I not have been more screwed? Dude, let's do that. There's no point in doing my med bay quite yet. I can jump away if I feel the need to. Uh, I'm gonna try and see this through. I, I don't even need the burst laser. There's no point in doing anything else though. One more volley from the railgun and I'll be able to, to win this one. Hey look, I actually hit him. That, that was surprising. I'm trying to get this guy to charge up as much as possible so I can get as many volleys off on this fucking ship. There you go. Uh, to, could not get one last one off. However, Railgun should be done very, very soon. This is why I have the breach bombs, guys. It's just, it's it's fantastic for situations like this where, um, where I need to get through their shields as soon as possible. There you go. Okay, I'm no, no longer gonna do that, and that's it. We win. I took a substantial hit from that. But that's okay, because uh, no one died, and that's what's important, is uh, no one died. Now, one of the things you can do is, I should mention now, because I know someone's probably screaming at me and saying, Mike, you can you can put more points into things like he the healing, the the, the med bay, the, the oxygen, the, the doors and stuff, so they can't actually take it out in one hit. That is completely true. That is not how I play the game. I consider those to be end game things. Uh, my focus is mainly on things like shields and... Uh, like my railgun, because I think those are my best. Those are my core abilities. Um, I want to get those up. I don't want to. Okay, we're gonna go attack this ship because he's waiting. But that's okay. This is uh, the unfortunate part. Is uh, uh he's got uh, great. Now, like as I said, you could buy time. You can completely and utterly buy time when you get the doors and you can put them into anything you want. But if you've been watching the way I've been playing, is it really that necessary? Like, I, I didn't think so. That was my whole thing, is I'm just kind of like, I, the way I play this game, it just it doesn't make sense, really. Because I play in a very kind of like, um... I, with the absolute minimum, I don't. I don't need the doors. Like usually, I can. I can live without them. Is my opinion. All right, we're gonna actually target his cockpit as well, just so he can't dodge my shots. Eventually, I'll want to get them. I have. I have no doubt that I'll want to get them at some point. Uh, just right now, I don't. And the railgun is almost charged again. Unfortunately, this is not actually working out. 
Uh, let's see, you've given a pitiful amount of resources, so you will die. And a substantial amount of useful scrap material. Wow, see? That's that's what happens when you wait. Alright, and both you guys, come on, come on over and heal. You get your healing reward. This is what I mean, I don't think the, I don't think the, the med bay stuff would have really helped. Ken is at 100%. Ken, why is Ken driving the ship? No wonder we're probably getting hit by everything. You hear me, Ken? Fucking suck at driving. I saw you in Saints Row. Fucking horrible at driving. I don't know why you're at the con. Blotch is, uh, is uh, do maintaining engines. I think he's the one who's, who's fucking doing everything. Blotch is now your new co-op partner. And Jay is on shields and I'm on weapons naturally. Naturally, of course. Um, I almost have enough for another another railgun slot, uh, but I'm gonna go do another jump, just once more. Do I care for a fix up? Ask if they want payment. No, I will not, because they 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 it's gonna be really expensive, and usually that's a trap. Actually, the the thing about the slugs is that they're very deceptive people. Like they want to they want to fuck you basically. So. I uh, explore around the beacon, and I'm shocked when a rock the size of a, room, uh, a small moon looms ahead of me. Scans reveal the solid-looking rock is almost like a husk, entirely mined my, my minerals. It, absolutely nothing here. That's unfortunate, but that's the name of the game, FDL. When it comes to slugs, uh, but they're not. They don't want to confront me right now, so that's their bad. They don't have to confront me. That's fine by me. Uh, there's a ship without uh, slug markings, but it's got pirate insignia, so let's kill it. Fortunately enough, this one has less shield, so I should have less of a problem get getting through uh, with my burst lasers. I'm, I'm happy about that much. Luckily that missile missed, and now all their weapons are... well, not all of them, but most of their weapons are down. Alright, and it's gonna power up its FTL, so we're gonna now target his engines. I heard you like FTL, so now I'm gonna take out your FTL. And he's offering me pitiful amounts of scrap, so he's dead now. <laughs> and now I get a bit more scrap out of that, so there you go. It's just, it, co it cost me nothing but a click, you know. We'll just keep going. And what do we have over here? Ah, oh, here we go. Slug Captain, uh, Slug Captain hails and he wants to go aboard my ship. Now, most gracious Captain, you must join me to drink to our alliance. I think what happens is that the Rockman, uh, I think that he's going to poison, but the Rockman is immune to that, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, he's able to identify a heavy anesthetic contained within the flask. So, he sees it and, uh, that means nobody, nobody gets to die. Holy shit, do you have enough weapons on this fucking smallest ship? For the whole love of god. They're like practically like inside of each other. Okay, well I took out some of his weapons. That's why I love evade, you know? It's just having two shields really helps here. I just assumed that I'll... I'll oh yeah, you know, I said I was going to do that, wasn't I? I was going to get some evade. I proceeded to immediately not get evade. Even though it's fucking helping me so much right now. Oh, I got 30%, so. And I will not let you live. Because you're kind of a prick to me. You try, you tried to put me to sleep. Fucking date rape drugs or whatever in, in the drink. I don't want to fucking get, like, whatever by a, a slug. I'm sorry. I have to man tactical. I have a job to do. Alright, there we go. I'm going to work on engines, like, right now, actually. Just put one point in. It's kind of weird, I know. No point in me going there. Let's just go hop right to the exit. And, uh... And we're ready to jump, I guess. To the next sector. We will go to a Zoltan, because we have actually have not seen the Zoltans, and I'll introduce them to you. And maybe get a crew member if I can. It may not be possible. So, uh, now we're in Zoltan space. Uh, so we'll see what the Zoltans are next time. So I'll see you later. Bye.